I was able to be here today. So that's that's very special. Are you a little tired. <laughs> I was great. <laughs> yes, yes. How much sleep did you get then after the Georgia Tech match? Um, actually, I was able to sleep in. Oh, okay. So yes, I was ready for today. I knew I, you know, I had to be ready, and and you know, Coco is amazing. So I knew I had to give my best. Um, I would like to start by thanking the the Ray Beach Open and the University of Miami for making this event possible and letting me come here. Um, this was such a cool experience, and I would never be here today if it wasn't for them, and I'm really, really thankful. Um, the crowd today was amazing, um, even though Coco is from here. I think they were so supportive, and I had so much fun, and thank you for, for coming out. Um, they, they made this experience even, even more amazing, and as an international player, this means a lot to me. Um, also, my team was there supporting me at the University of Miami. It, I could feel them in every single point, and my teammates, my coaches, the whole department. I'm just really, really thankful, and go Canes, always. Um, they've been my family for the last years, and if I'm sitting here today, it's, it's because of them. And, and I'm just really happy that they were able to, to see me out there just competing, just having fun, smiling. Um, I don't think I've ever smiled that much on a tennis court, honestly. Um, and then um, lastly, but you know, also as important, Coco, um, she's such an inspiration for, for every tennis player. What she's done is, is truly amazing. And um, she's shown that um, you can do it, you know? You, you can, go to the professional tour and, and give your best and, and actually um, do amazing. And she's shown that. And for me, as a tennis player that is trying to do the same, it's, it's inspirational. And hopefully, I, I get to play against her um, anytime in the future. And, and yeah. Is this the largest crowd you've played in front of? Um, I believe so, yes. Can you talk about what Coco was like facing her in real life? I mean, you've seen her before, but what was, yes. it, what, was it different at all? Or can you say what stuck out for you? And um, well, I saw her 10, 15 minutes before the match. We were chatting a little bit. Um, she's a Canes fan. She's been to the Hard Rock Stadium to some football games. So she was telling me how cool that was and the experience and, uh, and how much she likes the University of Miami. So. Um, honestly, I've, I've, I've watched her on TV a few times, and um, just being able to talk to her is just, is just um, really cool, you know? Um, but she's great. She's like all of us. <laughs> did, it, did it feel like an exhibition match to you? I mean, besides the little bit of joking, it looked like you guys were going at it. Yeah. Um, well, I think um, every competitive tennis player that goes out there always tries to um, give their best. And, and I think that's what we did today, both of us. Um, obviously, we were having fun. Um, there was nothing really, really important on the line. Um, I think it, this was just, you know, like the, the experience. Um, and, and yeah, I think that's how it was, and, and it was great. Do you have more for Stella? Do you have any words of encouragement for Coco as she ventures in? Well, I think that, um, I, well, um, what she's been through, I think, um, is truly unbelievable. And I don't think, I don't think players or people understand what she's been gone through. I don't think I even understand what she's been gone through. And I think that the fact that she's done that um, at 16 years old, 15, it's, that's, that's unbelievable. And I think she needs to just, um, get strength from all of the experience that she's lived and, and make the most out of it. Um, she's amazing and she just needs to keep it up and she just needs to um, keep being an inspiration for everybody and, and that's what matters.